I just feel that if you're going to be sat here drowning your sorrows anyway, we might as well do so in a pub. You don't understand. Oh, I know. I know. She's got beautiful raven hair and a voice like a songbird, and she can never be yours, and it's all very tragic, Henry, it is. But come on, I've been trapped with you here, in this room, for a week now, and I need to escape. I can't bear to leave this room. It hurts. My heart physically hurts, Nigel. Oh, Christ, you should have been a poet. Look, you've been lusting after this woman for months now, and I'm sorry to say- lust. It's so much more than that. Oh, I really did have a point about the poetry, didn't I? Let's see, uh, what rhymes with raven hair? Despair? Hmm? I think we're off to a winning start. No, I've half a mind to punch you. Oh, please do. It would give me great pleasure to see you act like a man again, rather than some whiskey-soaked flannel. Crikey, you're not serious. This woman's really got under your skin, hasn't it's she? It's not a woman. It's a girl. Christ, how young are we talking? My God. You're an idiot. It's you, Nigel. You bastard, it's you. I'm in love with you. And what exactly do you expect me to do about that? Well, you've got a few options, haven't you? You could pretend I never said anything. You could report me to the police, or... You could kiss me. Well, I can't do that, can I? Because, because it's against the law, for starters. It's immoral, really, and it's, it's an abomination. Why, hello there, oh sister of mine. Uh, Robbie, what, what are you doing here? I thought it was high time I met my nephew. And I actually brought him a little something. Oh. Hi. Where did you even find that? A bin on the way here? It was a skip, technically. You're high, aren't you? Nope, I'm not. All clean. Scouts on her. That's Star Trek. Hmm? Look, if you're here for money, okay, forget it. I'm not going to fund your quest to ruin your life. No, no, no. I need money for the literal opposite. I need it to... To unruin my life, really. Um, I need you to give me some money for a deposit on a room. Really? Mm -hmm. Where is it? Dalston. Lovely. Which road? Kingsland. It's on Kingsland Road. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. Well, uh, I was going to go to the market anyway, so why don't I just come see the room, see what I'm investing in? Shall I? Look, you know there's no fucking flat, so just, just give me like 20 quid, please. Wait, 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 wait. You're robbing from me now, oh, are you? Of course you? I'm not, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, it's just... Please don't make me come down, Claire. I'm scared too. I am so fucking scared of feeling like, like properly feeling what it's like to live in a world without her. How do you do it? How do you cope so fucking well? I go to church, Robert. <laughs> I suggest you do the same. Really? That's all you've got for me? Like, you're gonna what would Jesus do me? Oh, fuck! I guess I should say congratulations. <laughs> Probably but only if you mean it. I'm not sure I do, honestly, so maybe I won't. I understand. Yeah. Well, uh, I hope you're happy. Really? God, no. <laughs> you're so miserable. <laughs> and how are you, Tom? I'm good. Ish. That's good. Yeah. I quit the office, so... Oh, really? That's yeah. great. What are you doing now? <laughs> Mostly sleeping and breaking things. <laughs>